Hello viewers, once again welcome to the Business Tips YouTube channel. My name is Rofo Chifu, I'm the CEO founder of HR and Systems Limited. As you know on this channel, we do help people get started with their businesses or we help them to move from one level to the other, you know, in their journey, in their business journey. And in today's video, we'll be looking at something one of my subscribers actually requested for, which is how to start a printing business. And do you know what I did today? I brought in somebody who is into the business already so that he can share with us all his experiences, how he got started right up to this point and also give us some real expert insight about doing printing business in Cameroon or in Africa. I'm in the studio right here with uh, Mr. Simo Janzier, who is a visionary officer of the Janzier Macro Media Group. He is going to be telling us everything you need to know about the printing business in Cameroon and of course in Africa. So don't move a muscle, don't go anywhere because we are going to be giving a lot, a lot of information for you guys today. And if you are watching this channel for the first time, hey, make sure you hit on the subscribe button and also hit on the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. So don't go anywhere, stay right there. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome right back and welcome Mr. Simo to the studio. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Rufu. So, um, as you know, as I already said, yeah. we are just going to be giving the viewers a lot of information about how to, you know, start and run a printing business. Most of my viewers, um, they are probably people who want to start businesses yeah. or maybe already running some business and they want to get an insight what they should do to really take the business to another level. Yeah. So now tell me, what is printing business actually? Well, basically, the printing business is all about um, having ideas, you know, produced on, on tactile form. It could be printed on, you know, on paper. It could be printed on vinyl. It could be printed on, on plastic. It could be printed on glass or anything. So basically, that's what the printing business is all about. It's all about it's all about us having <coughs> having a a, 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 a visual um, um, a visual realization of what we have in our minds. Yeah. So basically, that's what if you ask me generally, that's what the printing business is all about. Okay. Yeah, so basically, that's all. All right. So it's just like you, anything that you print or yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. So t-shirt printing is part of the printing it's business. It's part of the printing business. Yeah. Right. Because I have one of my followers of who happens to be my other sister, Yajin Gala. She actually asked that I should do a video on you know on printing, printing on yeah. t-shirt printing. printing. That's what she was asking. Okay. Fine. Uh, so we're telling her a little bit more about how she can you know start up a, pr a t-shirt print, printing business. business. Oh, okay. But um, what are the services yeah. that a printing business should have? Uh, uh, generally yeah. and what are the services that you offer because I understand you you run uh, the Prince Perfect, print perfect yeah. yes Prince yeah. Perfect yeah. so what are the services typically that the printing no, no. business you have okay basically um, with, um, with, a, with a printing business you have um, you have digital printing okay you have offset printing okay offset printing you have large format printing last format like when you walk around and you see billboards you see this large print yeah that's okay part of large format printing like have, three meters by yeah, four exactly, and all of that exactly that's that's large format printing okay and then you have um, um a typography like what you see on what you see on, on mugs on what you see on pens. okay like this like this mug yeah exactly yeah that's typography that, that's typography we are going to be seeing how this mug works right <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I know it's a magic mug yeah it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a little it's a little surprise for our, for our viewers, for our viewers yeah, yeah. Exactly. and then you have um serigraphy Serigraphy is a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's what we, we, we commonly see on T-shirts. Okay. It's, 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 it's one form of printing on T-shirts, and then you also have transfer printing. You know, transfer printing is another form of printing on T-shirts. For example, what I have right here yeah. is transfer printing. Okay. And then the material that we use to print is called, um, it's called flex. Flex. Yeah, it's, it's a material. I mean, it's a new, it's a new um, form of printing that is you know, in the country. Okay. And that's one of the, that's one of the things that Print Perfect is actually expert in doing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, expert in right, doing. right. So you just named like four or five different types of services. Yeah. Are these like the full? I mean, should every printing business have all these services, or you can start with just one or two? On that. Yeah, not not. I mean, like we are in the digital age, uh, where um, where a lot of people are doing a lot of things. Uh, yeah. it's, it's always advisable for a business to focus on what they can do. You yeah, know? yeah. To say that to start a printed business, you need to do everything. It means you need to have a very huge capital to be able to do everything. Yeah. So it's always advisable to you know to pick one or two things that you can do, and, and then you start from and, there. And you start from there. Yeah. And being in the business for a very long time, uh, yeah. Mr. Simo. Um, I know you've been running this for, for a while and yeah, four you're doing, yeah, four years actually. Yeah. Voila. So uh, you're doing great, you know, leading this business. What, what will you say is the capital? Because yeah. you know, a lot of 
people who want to start businesses yeah. now probably have problems yeah. with raising capital. funds, capital to start the business. Yeah. What would be the minimum capital that you can advise somebody to use yeah. to, to actually run a proper printing mm -hmm. business? Mm -hmm. business? Um, <clears throat> now, when I, when, when, I mean, like, listen to that question, I don't know if I'm the right person to answer that question <laughs> because I, um, I would say I'm a new generation, you know, um, printing businessman. Yes. Because I didn't get into the printing business like a printing, printing, printing guy. Because I didn't start like the old prison yeah, price exactly, that was good. Exactly. With you know, equipment, the equipment like. you know, a lot of machines, you know. So how did you get into it? Yeah, so basically my um, I think the way I got into printing business is gonna be the future of you know of printing business okay. like ten or five years, you know. I got into the printing business as a broker. You know, because I'm a designer and I have a lot of people who come, who come to me for their designs, you know, basically. Yeah. And uh, I noticed that when I give when I gave them to another printing press to to print, it, it, I mean, like, it never respected the quality that I wanted. Okay. You know? So I was like, I need to be on top of, you know, the printing. Yeah. For me to assure that, you know, the quality I give to my clients is what I promised them. Okay. So basically, that's how I got into print. Okay. You know, so I, I'll, I'll go to a printing place, you know, I'll tell the client this is going to cost you this. Yeah. I go and I print and I don't get anything from the printing. I just... At the beginning? At the beginning, yeah. See, I'll, I'm going to cut you here short yeah. because um, this is one of the things I usually I say, yeah. right, to my to my clients or the, to the people that I, I coach. Yeah. What I usually tell them is, you can actually start a business without actually having capital. capital. Yeah. I mean, this is just an example of how that one works, right? Yeah, exactly. Like you go in like some kind of broker, yeah. some kind of middleman, exactly. and then when, as you get to understand the business, exactly. you then start acquiring your own equipment exactly. and your own printing it, things. Exactly. So that's exactly one of the things. So don't never you say that, oh, I don't have money, money to do exactly. any business, exactly. or it's, it's not true. That's yeah. not true, you can do that. All right, so as we're saying, you actually got into this by, um, by by being the broker, yeah, yeah. but you cannot just say there was no money that you spent. Um, actually, I'll, I'll I'll say I didn't spend any money because okay. most of the money I spent was was the transport that I paid, you know, with the, the suppliers. Okay, you know, that was most of the money that I spent. It's only after after over time mm -hmm. that I said I acquired my own machines because I noticed that there was a problem with delivery time and you know, quality and, and oppression. Yeah, you know? oppression. Yeah, and then quality too. Because yeah. sometimes, you know, you cannot really control how much quality suppliers can give you. Yeah. yeah so that's when I said like acquiring my own machines right. you know, bit by bit by bit. Right. But then if you want to have a, 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 a if you want to have a domestic printing shop, you know, to cater for, you know, for, for minimum needs. Yeah. I mean, I think if you have a million, you can get... A, One million francs. A, a million francs can get you... Yeah, that's about 2,000 US dollars. That's about 2,000 US dollars. Yeah. yeah. You can get you... Get you, get, get, you can get, get you going. You, yeah, it can get you going because you can have, you can have a... A digit, you can have a a, a, digit, uh, a laser printer. A laser printer. You can have um, you can have a laser printer. You can have uh, you can have a, a, you can have a, a card cutter. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. because most of what you do with the, with the laser printer is printing print business cards. cards yeah. You know? And then you you need to have um, um, a, what we call a mastico. I don't, I don't know this. I don't know the name in English because I got into the mastico. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to find out for you guys yeah. and I'm going to post it yeah, uh, in um, the description box. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we call it a mastico. You need that because you need to cut the card. Sometimes you need to cut, you know, um, invitation cards you know, and everything. You need to trim your paper. Mm -hmm. And then you also need uh, you, one of the mach one of the important machines that you need to get. That is, if you also want to do things like T-shirts, you know, you need to get a heat press machine. Okay. And if you want to do things like mugs, you need to get a uh, a press machine. A for, press machine yeah, for more. Press for the mobs. Yeah. So I think if you have a million, you know, you, you, you can get all of this for your machines. Now yeah. talking about the rent, it depends on where you want to do your business. Exactly. Yeah. That was the next question I was coming to. That talking about that was like just the assets, yeah. the capital to yeah. get started. Yeah, exactly. But you also need running capital. Yeah. Like for example, um, the next question was. As you run the business now in Douala, yeah. what's what's your highest expense, or what are the kind of expenses that um, people should expect if they want to go into this type of business? Uh, I think you, um, one of the greatest expenses that we're going to have is in getting uh, the raw material. For example, yeah, a client is going to meet you and say, "I need one thousand t-shirts," you know, and more than half of the money you're going to spend is in, in buying, in the, buying t -shirts, the t-shirts. Yeah. yeah, and then when you buy the t-shirts now, the other material that you need, you're going to buy that. The, yeah. the bulk of the money goes to the t-shirts. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah. That's 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 like a direct cost. What I'm saying is like other operating costs. Yeah, other, oh, yes, okay, like you know, like grants, like, like the, you know, uh, okay, salaries. Yeah. salaries. What are the kind of things that you show? Um, to me, that's like basic. You know, if yeah. you have a business, you have to take care of your rents. You yeah, need to, you need to take care of your 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 employees, and you need to have some money set aside. You know, for for maintenance. 
because every now and then your machine is going to get bad and you, you have to maintain you, know, you have to maintain them you need yeah. to call somebody in to say hey check this out you know so guys what he's actually saying is that you need some reserve yeah. for maintenance yeah. because you're always going to be having maintenance since you'll be running uh you know some machines, machines you'll be having some yeah. machines and yeah. all of that exactly, yeah. but now like about how much is your monthly cost monthly cost um to be quite frank with you uh the accountant is the person who can actually tell you about that because uh most of what I do in the business is bringing in the cap uh, bringing in the business and then the capital, you know. I mean, just give us just give us a, a, a range, a range from what to about what. Um, I would say, I would say, I would, so it depends sometimes. It, dep <laughs> it, it depends, it depends. But right. you know, if, if I have to, if I have to go with the fixed cost, yeah, that's like salaries, yeah. you know, um, rent, yeah, cost of maintenance. Mm. I would say I'm around, um, I'm around, I'm around six hundred thousand francs every so, month. Okay, yeah, somewhere because that's my right. rent, like maintenance, machines, you know, bills and everything. Yeah. And and how many how many uh, uh, employees yeah. do you have now, or how many employees did you start with yeah. four years ago, yeah. and how many are you having now, like for an optimal operation? operation. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, four years ago I started off with myself. Yeah. So you were, just, were you the only person? Yeah, I was the only person yeah. running all the errands and doing okay. the designs and everything. And then um, last year or last two years, in 2017, I actually put together a team of about four people. And then after about four months. You know, like business wasn't going the way we expected it to yes, go, so yeah. um, the team had to dissolve. Mm -hmm. But then I stayed off with, with one person, that okay. was my personal assistant. Yeah. And um, since 2017, we've been, we've been, we've been, we've been struggling. Struggling to, yeah, to get it yeah, up again. Yeah, get it up again. And since then, I, I was working with her. Mm -hmm. And um, 2019, that's this year, February, yeah. we got our own office. Okay. You know, we got our own office, got our own machines established. Yeah. Okay. And she's the manager of the business right now. Great. With a team of about um, of four people. So we have we have two marketers, we have an administrative assistant, and okay. then we have a graphic designer. Optimally, you can run a good printing business, business yeah. with about four people, yeah, but yeah, it will yeah. depend on your you know level of activity, level as well. of activity, yeah. and your modus operandi. Yeah, because your the way vision. I, yeah, the way we run the business is completely different from the way a lot of other businesses work. Yeah, okay. exactly. All right, yeah. all right. Um, I think we've had a little you know a, a little knowledge about you know cost. But what we didn't have is revenue. In the beginning, you said it was a lucrative business. Yeah. What about revenue? I mean, averagely. Yeah. I'm not talking for your business, but I'm saying averagely. Yeah. What can someone investing, let's say, a million francs or two, yeah. expect on a monthly basis? Now, that question is a little bit complicated to answer because uh, it depends on, like I said, your um, it depends on your modus operandi, and it depends on um, how much marketing you do, how much. Uh, it's it's more of a network business. Yeah. Because you can invest. For example, in 20, 2017, beginning of 2017, um, I was managing a printing business yeah. you know, that had an investment of about 17 million because they had the biggest um, laser printing machine in the okay. world. Okay. Yeah, they, had, they, had, they had a laser machine, they had a, they had a Roland. The investment in that place was about 17 million. Yeah. Like in assets. In assets. Not, not talking about rent. Yeah. But in the month, we were not grossing up to 200,000 francs a month. Wow. Yeah. We were not able to pay salaries. Wow. That is because. The, the, the owners of the business did not invest in the marketing of the yeah, business. Yeah. They didn't invest in anything. Yeah, I get, I get. So they assumed that because they had the machines, the customers business will start coming. Exactly. So which, I, is, I, which is not the, which is not the, the modern way of running yeah, the business. Exactly, yeah. I mean, I run a business now that doesn't have up to one, 150. Of what they of have. what they have. But the revenue that we make every month is way more than what we're making in the world. Okay. 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 Exactly. So, like I said, it depends on it depends on how much marketing you do and your 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 the network of, exactly. of clients that you that have. You have yeah, so it's a network. network based, you know. So from what you just explained, yeah. am I right to say that you probably um, have some other skills yeah. that the, 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 the others don't have? Yeah. Are you, are you, what kind of skills should yeah. somebody have, uh, yes, have to, to, run to, to run this kind of business? I think in the new generation uh, printing um, 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 ecosystem, mm. I think it's very important for a printing business to have very very good design skills okay because I think that is what set, sets print perfect ap um, apart because I started off as a designer so the aesthetics of our work is what sets up sets us apart so the design the design yeah so a good person running this kind of business you yeah. should you should you should learn graphic design yeah either you have good graphic design sense or, or you have you a very good graphic designer on your team okay yeah okay. so that the quality of your your work stands out because I'm going to give you a practical example. Yeah. This T-shirt, for example, yeah. is going to cost less to produce this T-shirt. Mm -hmm. But I'll sell this T-shirt more expensively because it looks sophisticated. Yeah. But another person is going to do the same T-shirt. Yeah. Too many things on it. It's yeah. going to cost more. 
and it's never going to sell it cheaper than cheaper it's going to sell it. Yeah, 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 because yeah. I mean, it doesn't look the graphics. The graphics, you know. And I would like to take this moment just for a few seconds to show you, you know, the kind of things that he does. I mean, I've had the opportunity to see some of the logos that he does, yeah. some of the prints, or some of the designs that he's also been doing. Yeah. And I also tell you that he did the cover for my upcoming book oh, on DSF. I remember, I remember. <laughs> so I also show you that right now yeah. before we continue with this um, with, with with the interview. So just take out take take this moment and uh, and enjoy this. So welcome back guys. I'm sure you must have seen some very interesting designs made by Prince Perfect. And who is here right now talking to us. Um, um, now Mr. Simo, I want to know exactly what are the problems, yeah. you know, because this, this, this part of the, the whole thing, you know, what are the problems that you face? Yeah. You know, now that you are the CEO of the whole group yeah. and printing is just one of your businesses, you have people you're managing. So what are the problems that people might expect to face, yeah. um, you know, in this kind of business? I think one of the one of the most crucial problems is having the right team to work with. Okay, the team. Yeah, personnel, like getting the right talent mm -hmm. is, I mean, that's the most crucial part of, you know, running it, especially a product-based business like printing. Yeah. Yeah. Getting the right people to work with is very, very, very okay. difficult. That's so, number one. Yeah, that's number one. Number two, capital. So, sometimes when you start when you I mean when I started I was started off as a, as a freelancer so I was working with individuals yeah now when you start when you establish and you start ha you have to start working with uh, with establishments like like companies, like companies. organizations yeah. where you have to pre-fund your jobs now that becomes a problem yeah you know a company is gonna come with a job of about two million how do you, you get know? money to do how do you get money to you know to and that's you know? where I step in with HR and Systems Limited, yeah. you know, we help companies like yours. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's one of my clients actually anyways. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we have company like, you know, like his and like yours probably, you know, um, how to, we structure those companies yeah. to help them get loans from microfinances exactly. and banks, exactly. you know, solving this capital problem. Yeah. But that's like the second. So yes. what, what else? Um, thirdly, I think processes. Processes, Because you know, yeah. the, way, the way a freelancer or a small business is going to run is mm. different from the way an established business is going to run. You know, so that was something that I had to, I had to, um, it had to take me a lot of time to catch up with. You know, like invoicing, you know, um, invoicing, you know, uh, receipts, you know, yeah. all these things, you know, yeah. bills yeah. and yeah. back and forth. Yeah. You know, yeah. That was something that... That's back office. Yeah, exactly, the back office. <laughs> yes. you know? And I remember I was like... Hey, bro. I mean, like, you need to, you need to, you need to sort this out. For whereas, me. whereas you are the visionary, so yeah. you have to concentrate on, you know, getting more clients, more clients you know, on the design exactly, and all of that. Exactly. So there's no time. You there's know, no time to all those things. And you know? that yeah. is where we come in yeah, again. Exactly. At HR and System yeah. will help you with your back office. Yeah. You know your back office activities, yeah. all the routine. Yeah. You are an entrepreneur. You don't have time for all of that. Yeah. So if you're having that problem right now, just contact us. We're going to help you with that. Okay. D8 daily bookkeeping, stock counts, business banking transaction, monthly tax declarations, business analysis and reporting, and we can even structure your business so that you can obtain business loans from microfinance institutions and banks. And so, but but now, how how did you? Um, overcome these challenges. these challenges. I mean, you are you are still in operation. You are making some money. Yeah. You know, how did you how did you get the, the right talent? How did you overcome all of this? Um, I would say uh, I was blessed by okay. God. I would say I was blessed by God because yeah. He's I the didn't, Almighty. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really do anything in particular to have the, the team that I have right now. Okay. Because I have a very dedicated team. And I think one other thing that played to my advantage is I was very, I'm very open with them. Yeah. I'm very sincere. Yeah. When it's time to joke, I joke. When it's time for business, it's business. Yeah. So I think maybe that too has played in the energy that I put out. Yeah. So I was able to attract the right people. The law of attraction, man. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, you put, up, you put out a very positive energy, yeah. positive guys will come to you. Yeah. And, and I would say the manager of the business, mm. I mean, when, when we started off, I mean, we were basically running up and down. Yeah. You know, and for a woman, to do all the up and down with me yeah. wasn't easy. So I think I was I was very blessed to have her 
you know, as you know, as the first, you know, the first employee of the business. Of the business. She so started she's up been as, able to. Yeah, work. she started up as my personal assistant, and now she's a manager. I don't need, I don't have to call her to ask her what's happening. She yeah. knows exactly what, what to, to do. do. Yeah, so that's one of the things that I'm very, very lucky with. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. All right, Mr. Simo, I think um, we've had we've had enough, you know. But I want to know more about your business now. Yeah. Let's come to your business. I mean. What can we benefit from you? Yeah. You know, we are you're based in Douala. Where are you located? Yeah. Um, what are your what are your contacts? Well, yeah, yes. contacts. And how what can we benefit? What are your services that we can benefit from you right now? I know first me is coming up. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So probably t shirt. Yeah, yeah. I know mean like I mean like um, right now we actually do the promotion for, for companies that are doing their t shirts for, for the first of May. You know, uh, where um, if you if you if you have if you order a certain quality of t shirts, yeah. we offer you a hundred business cards for free. Wow. Yeah. And um, we, we do we do t shirts, yeah. very good quality t shirts. Yeah. And our turnaround time is very, very fast. Wow. Yeah. And um, we also do banners and backdrops for yeah. people who have events. Yeah. We also do um, magic marks. We do uh, basically we do everything. Prints. Everything. Every, we design and print everything. everything. Yeah. Okay. Now if we don't have the machines that need that that, that need that, that we need to print that particular item, yeah. we know exactly whom to call, you know, to provide that. And where to get it. And where to get it. And one about advantage that we have is that we come with very competitive prices. Yeah. The prices that we're gonna offer to our clients, if you go to a regular more um, yeah, affordable. Exactly. Yeah, if you go to a regular printing shop, they're not gonna give you those prices. Great, yeah. great, great. All right, you've heard from the hustle's own mouth. And um, as I said, first May is coming up. A lot of events are coming up. And if you need any printing, just go here. Where are you guys located, by the way? Uh, we were located at um, the um, U BB Elame. Yeah. Most people know it as um, Hotel Lumiere. Hotel Lumiere, yeah, just um, on the street. Yeah, the street, just okay. next to Alliance right. um, Alliance uh, Assurance. Yeah. Yeah, so, so if you are in Douala, please, you probably want to visit his office at uh, besides Hotel Lumiere, somewhere yeah. there. Yeah. And probably want to call any of the numbers on the screen. Yeah. Um, on what, you also on WhatsApp, right? Yeah, WhatsApp, so WhatsApp, yeah. you can just always get to them. Even you know, on Facebook, Instagram, they are all there, yeah. you know, to, to place your orders. Yeah, on Facebook, we go by um, Print Perfect Company. Print Perfect Company. Company. Yeah. Okay. And um, on WhatsApp, you can get to us on WhatsApp through 680 okay. 40, 41. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are almost at the end of the video. But what I told him when he came was that I will give a discount to anybody who watched this video to the end and probably need any kind of printing uh, business. And if you go to him, just go with this code, Rofo X O one two three. That's the code. I just I just created it. But if you go, the code is going to be on the screen, right? Yeah. It's going to be on the screen. But if you go to him with this code, it means you watch this video to the end, and you're going to get a perfect discount for any business that you're going to do. I'm not going to tell you the discount now, but believe me, it's going to be a wonderful discount. So we are going to look at one of his products, and that's called the Magic Mug, right? Mark, exactly. The Magic Mug, yeah. and he's going to demonstrate to us how that works right now. Yeah. So. Show us how your magic mark works. Okay, so basically, the magic mark is one of the first things that we started doing when, okay. we, when we started doing printing because we were thinking like, okay, what is a new, what is something new that we can bring into the market? Yeah. Now it's something that the Chinese brought, but I mean, not a lot of people knew about it. Yeah. So as one of our, um, one of as one of our entry points in the market, we decided to focus on the magic mark. So basically, this is what the magic mark does. The magic mark is a mark that comes like this, you know, it's usually black. Basically, it's a perfect gift to give to somebody whom you love, somebody you care about. And I know sometimes thinking about a gift is usually a problem. So how does this work? You offer this to somebody and it comes dark like this so they don't know what to respect. But then now when they want to have their cup of tea and then you know they pour the cup of tea into the mug, look at what happens, the magic happens. Now you, you can actually reveal to them what you want them to see. So you pour the hot water into the mug and you're about to have your tea and um, yeah, you're sipping your tea you're sipping your tea and be careful not to drop the mug because it's not scary it's just Whoa. the magic of the mug Whoa. so as you're drinking your tea you know this it what changes. happens it reveals what is written on the mug wow so this is the magic mug by Pin Perfect, and this is a Pin Perfect mug. Guys, this is amazing! It's amazing. So you can you can actually have a personalized <laughs> mug with your face, with your picture, with a personalized message that you want to give to anybody. If you want to write "I love you," if you want to write "I'm the best ever," if you want to write Pin to Perfect, your husband, best, to your wife, exactly. If you want to write "HR on Systems is <laughs> here for you," you can actually write "HR on Systems is here for you." Wow! You know, so anything you want to write on the mug, you can write on the mug, and it's a it's a perfect surprise. Yeah, because in as much as the gift is a surprise, the mock in itself 
is a perfect surprise to the people that you love. Great! So Pim Perfect is gonna hook you up with this, <laughs> you know, for your loved ones. Yeah. So perfect. If, if this was a cup of tea, if Charles Sisters hook me up with a cup of tea, I should so. have drinking my tea. <laughs> it's just water, okay? It's, it's just water, it's just yeah. hot water for demonstration. <laughs> yeah. So guys, I think you've had a small taste of what they can do. That's the magic mug, but I'm sure they do more magic with other things exactly. and other prints, um, you know, print media things. Yeah. Um, um, better than this yeah. so you probably want to get to prints perfect exactly. for any kind of prints sure. that you want yeah. Yeah. and before we go he didn't just come with one magic mug yep. he actually brought two of them yeah. this another one here yeah and this is for our viewers yeah. yes we want to give this out to anybody who is going to the first person who is going to contact us yeah. Um, with, with a, you know, with a special code, with a special code, four X one or three. Yes, that, exactly. That was, right? that was a special code. I mean, yeah. it's on the screen. It's on the screen. So, so the first person who is going to contact us on WhatsApp or um, call or whatever, anyhow you want to contact us, yeah. you are going to have this mug. Yeah. So I'll keep it right here in the studio, and the day that you come to collect it, you are going to have it. We are located in Bonamusadi Dwala, and this is going to be yours. Yeah, exactly. So um, we, we now come to the, the end of our video, but before we go, I just wanted to give something, one word for, you know, for the young people out there, for the youths, for our viewers who are aspiring to, to, do, to do business. Uh, basically, what I'm going to say to the Cameroonian youth is you shouldn't let your environment um, discourage you from doing what you want to do. First of all, you need to have a passion, you need to have the skill, and you need to have the drive. And I think a lot of people are discouraged by the fact that they don't have capital to start. Mm -hmm. You just have to think smart, think about what you can offer to somebody, mm -hmm. think about what you have and how you can sell that skill to some other person. Yeah. Go out there, start, and you know... You know, make a living and also never get discouraged in anything that you do if you're having a job or be it a business be it a uh, be it volunteerism just stick to what you do be disciplined at what you do and leave the rest to life to nature to, to handle yeah exactly perfect so guys thanks for watching and if this is your first time on this channel, please make sure you hit on the subscribe button and also hit on the notification bell. And if you are coming back, I just want to say thank you for the support. Thank you for always coming back. I want to give a shout out to Yajin Gala who is out there. I want to give a shout out to Pastor Ilogo. They are always commenting. They are always, you know, dropping me a note and encouraging me to keep doing these videos. Thank you very, very much. And I'll see you in my next video. As an entrepreneur, you are probably spending a lot of valuable time on back office activity. Time you should have been using to focus on developing your business and getting more clients. But don't you worry, we've got you covered. For seven years now at HR and Systems, we've been helping a lot of businesses grow faster by partnering with them to carry out all the routine back office activities. Be it daily bookkeeping, stock counts, business banking transactions, monthly tax declarations, business analysis and reporting and we can even structure your business so that you can obtain business loans from microfinance institutions and banks at hr and systems limited we will assign a qualified expert to monitor your business on a daily basis weekly or even monthly depending on the volume of your transactions and guess what all of this comes at almost no cost contact us today at hr and systems limited Let's talk about your business.